Okay. So, today we're making cupcake toppers. We're gonna do a few small cellos, um, which are basically violins, but larger. I just learned that today. And we're gonna cut them straight out of fondant. They're just gonna be 2D, so they're gonna be pretty simple and they're small, so there's not gonna be a lot of room for detail. Um, and then we're gonna let them dry and we're gonna put them on cup cupcakes tomorrow. Oh god, don't, don't hold your fondant like that. That wasn't <laughs> professional. I rolled my fondant out pretty thin because we're gonna be putting them on cupcakes and they're not really so much for flavor even though our fondant is really marshmallowy and nice. They're just for decoration. So it's pretty thin, it's tearing a lot. I'm just gonna rip off a bunch of the excess because we're making pretty small cellos. I'm not doing anything complicated today, just cutting out the shapes. So first, I'll just make my stencil smaller to make my life easier. And then I'll go into my fondant, and I'm just going to take one of our pencil tools and lightly outline the shape of the cello. You don't want to press so firm that it rips right through the fondant because the fondant is so fragile, but you want it to make enough of an indent that when you shine a bright light on it, you can actually see the line. A little bit of a hack. They don't have to be super exact, especially for super thin lines. It's just to get an idea. And I would just do them around the like important parts. I wouldn't like line out each and every string. You probably won't be able to see it once you go over it. And then we still always have our photo for reference. It's also good to put cornstarch on top of the fondant just to make sure that your stencil doesn't stick, but it's usually fine if you like pull your stencil up as you go. I didn't do that here. I'll do it on the next one. We got one, we've got a total of four. So you can draw a line and then pull it up to make sure it doesn't stick. It's not always necessary, but if you accidentally press too hard and you don't have cornstarch on your fondant, it might not come back up. You'll have to start over and probably even print out a new stencil. And I would just blast through this step because it's not super important. You're not really going to see the stencils because they're covered in paint anyway, so if you need to scooch something over a tiny bit, it's good. These are just like for reference. Okay, now I'm just cutting out the pieces with an X-Acto knife and using the flashlight on my phone. You want to use a really, really clean X-Acto knife blade when you do this, just so that your fondant doesn't tear a whole lot. You can get more of an exact shape. And then my fondant is really soft still. It's pretty fresh, so um, I can still clean it up after if I'm not getting the shapes totally right. Like I can like squish it in the direction that I want it to go if need be. And definitely like just fix the edges a little bit and guide them into the right shape if I don't get the cut quite right.
I gotta mix a cello color. They're like weirdly orange. Cellos always kind of look like they just had a wood stain rubbed right over them. So there's a lot of darks and lights. And this like mega orange for some reason. So we'll just toss that on there and then work with it. Sometimes I'll just poke it with my hands because if you have too much fondant or too much paint right on your fondant. It's gonna make it wet and weird, and every time you try and make a stroke, the paint comes with you, instead of just spreading it. Why do cellos have mustaches? They basically do. More bursts of orange. I thought orange is cool. I'm just gonna Turn little parts off when we see fit. Do, 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 do. They're extra. 